and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Selesnia Legends that we're going to be playing over in Historic. Uh, the, you know, basically with this deck, this is just two of my favorite colors here. Well, it's basically my favorite two color combination, green, white. That's that's my that's my guild, Selesnia. And I really like these legendary cards. They're just fun and interesting. And so we basically have a whole lot of ones and twos of just a bunch of interesting stuff. And we're just kind of putting it together and we're going to play it as a deck. Will it be good? Who knows? So that's kind of like our, our last Christmas deck here. We're just putting together a bunch of fun cards together and seeing how it goes. Of course, we have some newer cards to historic with Captain Sisse here being able to tap and search our library for any legendary card put into our hand and then shuffle. We also have like this new card, Reese the Redeemed, which is, you know, like wasn't even in historic anthologies. They just kind of added it um, basically for Brawl, but it's legal in historic. Uh, it's a green or a white for a 1-1 one, one, and it doesn't do a whole lot. I mean, we could spend three, it's basically like a Legion's Landing, you know, spend three mana, tap it, create a token. Uh, I don't think we'll be doing the second activation too often because we're not really making tokens. But the, the main reason why this is important is because it's a one mana legend. So we can, it allows us to play Mox Amber because it's just a one mana legend. Because we play it, play Mox Amber, um, you know, we can ramp with Mox Amber. Um, and so that's that's kind of like why we have have Reese the Redeemed there. Kind of the same thing with Shauna, Sir Farron. You know, we have some, some other um, cheap legends as well. Uh, we got Urza's Runus Blast, which is an awesome card. Vivian Reed gets us a lot of card advantage. We have like the Great Henge. We have kind of like a Kiora sub package. We just played a Kiora deck, but we have so we have a a lot of creatures that have power four or greater. Well, not July, but Gore Claw, Questing Beast, uh, Traxos. Traxos is a cool one. Four mana, seven seven Trample, but it enters the battlefield tapped and it doesn't untap. But whenever we cast a historic spell, we can untap it. So we have a bunch of you know like these cheap historic spells. All the legendary spells are historic. As you can see on the right hand side, Traxos works really well with Kiora because Kiora's minus untaps the permanent. So you can just have Kiora untap your Traxos. And then you have a four mana 7-7 seven, seven Trampler. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so we just got a lot of stuff. Sideboard, uh, there's a lot of model red in Historic. And so we got four Devout Decree. We got three Spyglass to name Teferi and Teferi and Ascanta, basically. Uh, the Wanderer exiles some big creatures from Gruul. Also good against Mono Red. Um, and then we just kind of have like a bunch of one ofs that, I don't know, could be good in different scenarios. Carnage Tyrant would be for Esper, where we're taking out Urza's Runus Blast against Esper. So that's not so that's not too bad of a non-bow there. We just have some different one ofs to kind of um, modify the deck depending on what we are playing against. All right, so let's just kind of play some some matches here with Selesnya Legends. Let's see how this how this does. I'd be really happy with a three two. If we can go three two here, I'd be very happy with that. <laughs> this deck needs to be named Reese's Pieces. So we just have a lot of different pieces in this Reese deck. I'll save Reese for turn three. So my plan right now is turn three, play Yorvo and Reese. Grixis. Huh. I was thinking there were like a, a red black deck. Where, like, making Yorvo bigger was going to be important. But now if they're Grixis, they could just play... I should have, like, actually looked... I I played that Yorvo way too fast and processed that they played Drowned Catacombs after I played Yorvo. Well, too late. Now they could just play Ritual of Soot. Darn. 
Land. Darn. I've lost so much already. I will the mysteries of life are endless. Well, Questing Beast isn't the best creature to Let me show have you what was lost. instant speed, like, you know, to, to flash in. We just play it. All of the multiverse will bend to my will. Defiance has consequence you can still walk away witness a moat of my power Uh, Kieran gifting out a sub. Thank you so much. So we have uh, Zer, Zer, Guy, Guy Gear. I do not know how to pronounce that, but anyway, it's a. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, this this was not a good turn. For me. This was not a good turn by me. Will return one day. Like why did, I could have just gave the the captain to say vigilance, fallen. attack the nickel bolus with vigilance and just pass, and then I could activate Captain Sissay and grab a different creature and play at instant speed. Like for example, <clears throat> Shalai, Voice of Plenty. And it gets us to 51 subs on the day. Ooh, the Great Henge. We need more mana. All things begin and end in nature. So they only have two cards in the graveyard right now. What am I doing? Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to focus here or something. This is, yeah, because now I can't play the Greyhound. We were trading here. Hmm. All right, let's grab Mox Amber. Oh, Spell Pierce. Boo. Spell Pierce is good. Anyone who stands in my way is getting sizzled. <laughs> bye bye. Tear it down. Tear it all down. Hmm. I shouldn't have played that Vivian. Let's get toasty. They're not gonna minus one to kill my Vivian. Who 
<laughs> Wait. You think nature is kind? Love to be able to flip as Kanto. So now if they want to minus three, Chandra, Chandra dies, but I guess they're not going to want to minus three, Chandra. Hey, glad I can help with your not being on fire problem. Hey, Velvet. Stop countering. I want the Vivian to kill the Ascanta, of course. I definitely feel like I could have played this a lot better than what I did. Yeah, pretty positive I could have played that better. So they have Nicol Bolas and Escanta now. All right, get rid of these Ruinous Blasts. Get another Questing Beast, another Vivian, a Carnage Tyrant. Um, let's see. Druidic Val. Spy glasses may not be bad. Great Merchant. Yeah, Great Merchant's going to be awesome. Yeah, this does... Yeah, this does counter Chandra. But I don't know if that's good enough to play. I mean, it it does exile Nicol Bolas the Ravager also. Basically, want to make my deck not as bad against Cry of the Carnarium and Ritual of Sets. Should probably just play some Devout Decrees. Getting rid of Bola, Chandra, all that kind of stuff, also. Okay. Sometimes you gotta, you know, play a game to get back in the mindset of what are we playing, what format are we, you know, we're playing new format. New deck had to had to play a warm up game there. That's a good hand. It's better than my hand.
Come on, deck. We only have 24 lands in here. Eleven cards in. I've seen seven lands. Need to save Field of Ruin for Ascanta. I don't want to. Don't really want to give them the impression of. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? Yeah, I mean, it's just so many dead turns, yeah. It's kind of the thing about <clears throat> Mox Amber. It's not, you know, it's basically like another land, so it's basically like we have 25 land and. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> and, you know, we just had, you know, one spell. So the first game, I. This game, you know, obviously we just we never had a chance, but the first game. I feel like I feel like I should have been able to put up a better fight than what I did the first game. And if I would go back and just completely replay it and have the exact same cards at the same time, I think I could have played a lot better and done a lot more. Hey, Steve-O. Merry Christmas. Help, oh, Collector. Hey, starting up. Merry Christmas. Well, Runus Blast could be game breaking here. Obviously, next turn we could play Questing Beast, and we'd have to untap with Questing Beast. Um, it would get rid of both of my mana creatures, but it's possible it gets rid of my my opponent's entire board. Now they could, of course, just have like Questing Beast of their own. Need to draw another land though now. Yep, you too, Andran. We just played a game where we had, what, eight lands and 11 cards? All right, I guess we're playing this other land war elf, too, just to make sure that we have it next turn. Exiling land war elf. So I do not want to see Embercleave. I don't want to see Questing Beast. I don't want to see any legendary card from them. I... As long as they don't play a legendary card, I'm fine. Just don't play anything legendary. No. Boo. All 
All right, well, I guess we just trade instead of taking damage because now we have an extra legendary card with Reese, the redeemed. That's cool and all, but now we just have a 1-1. One, one. I wish we would have had the questing beast. Pretty obvious the card they have in hand. The beast. That questing beast card it sure is good. Sure is good. Sorry, that's my phone. Put it back on the floor. Hey, Kakuna. Merry Christmas. All right, hopefully we draw creatures. If they put the Ember Cleave on the Bone Crusher Giant, it would be really hard for me to stop the Bone Crusher Giant. Oh, well. <laughs> Why not have this last started? I could exile the Bone Crusher Giant also. And then still kept my. Kept my Questing Beast again. Um, if you can, if you go to your sub subscription channel, I think it tells you who gifted you the sub. Grumgully. It's a generous draw. All right, creature. No, not a creature. The ocean surges. Life. Well, we'll untap the Great Henge to be able to gain two more life. If we draw a creature now, though, we get to draw two. Creature would be pretty good. Hanging on by a thread. Lyra Dombringer. Sun Petal Grove. One drop ripples and grows.
New Grey Hinge. Well, good thing I, we played that other Grey Hinge, otherwise we'd be taking lethal here. Oh, no, they're... Oh, wait, yeah, they are going haste, because it's just a 3-3 haste. I need to block. I think they just have a second Ember Cleave in hand. Yeah. And that is lethal. Does exactly 10. We're at 10. All right, so Wanderer in here. I'm not sure about Decree. They did play a whole lot of red creatures. Yeah, Ember Cleave's legendary. But they'd still put the, the Ember Cleave on the creature that blocked. They sacrificed the other Ember Cleave, and they still do exactly 10 damage. Yeah, we have all these creatures that we didn't draw. Yeah, I counted the the Grum Gully was a three three. The other creature was a four four first strike double or double strike trample. So the 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 creature that I blocked was gonna be doing eight damage, but I had one one toughness blocking it, so eight minus one is seven. The Grum Gully was a three three, because it lost plus one plus one. Seven plus three is ten. We were at ten. <clears throat> These devout decrees not looking so great. This is probably not good for me though. Them having they have one really powerful one drop, and they have three of them in their hand. So that probably means that I'm gonna be dead.
Really, Sir Farron? I'm gonna play you on turn two or turn three. Lethal. I mean, that was again just a game, game one. I mean, that's 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 pretty tough for me. Like, I mean, I guess I should just mulligan because the devout decrees. Yeah, I'd, the devout decree looked terrible there. Tr like their hand was just perfect against devout decree. Um. But that was, again, game one that just got away that it really felt like we should have won, and we just didn't. We just had all those draws to just draw a creature, and we couldn't. So both matches, kind of the same thing of, like, really feeling like we should have won game one, and we didn't. <laughs> yeah, that, that has been today. We faced a lot of... Very good draws today, but speaking of very good draws, this is like perfect for us. Turn two Kiora, and then playing these things. I ebb and flow with battle. One mana off of having Gore Claw plus Questing Beast on turn three. So close. I love to make a splash. Sleep. Sleep. Is there any way to get three counters on this Yorvo? I think I'm like one mana short from getting three counters on this Yorvo. To do lethal. Let's get moving. So instead, I'm going to play the Shalai to make sure that they don't cast Sleep again. They don't just have a backup Sleep. Atriant! Thanks again that resub in here, Atriant. I appreciate that. And happy holidays. Yeah, I mean, this we got this. Yeah, the Vivian 2, and yeah, we were one mana short of going Vivian 2 and Shauna.
This is Goreclaw gave Yorvo trample on the battlefield. I think this game is going to just be about Urza's Ruinous Blast. I think that's a, a big part of it. I guess I should be boarding out Traxos. Mm, maybe I'll play it over these things. Oh, wait. Okay, so that's 60. Okay, yeah, we'll just board out Traxos. <clears throat> that was a very good game. That was a very good game. Yeah, we've played some good games. They're just kind of... Um, kind of gotten away from us. Well then. That was a pretty good spell, Pierce. That was pretty good. Mox Amber just doesn't do anything unless we have a legendary creature in play. Hey, Brennan. Merry Christmas. Hey, Ace. Yeah, Merry Christmas as well. I miss those too. We gotta hope Tristani... We gotta hope that we survive and that Tristani survives. Oh, but then Zagana is legendary. Yuck. This thing's legendary. It's gonna become a 9 9. I have to put something in front of it. So if I block like this. Does kind of force them to spend their mana to activate Zagana, which is what I'm expecting them to do anyway. Yeah, Runus Blast doesn't take care of Zagana. When Mox Amber is bad, it's bad. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could play the Wanderer. It's basically four mana card that only exiles Zagana and nothing else in their deck. Unless they have a bunch of Lords in play. But at that point, if they have a bunch of lords in play, I'm probably dead. Meh.
I would like to keep Kenrith. But I feel like the responsible thing is not keeping Kenrith here. You know, we need to have Land War Elf survive and draw another land to be able to cast it. Alright, so Sir, Sir Farron pumped up the Questing Beast with two power there. If we play Vivian and put two counters on Sir Farron, Sir Farron can attack for four and pump up Questing Beast four. <laughs> and so we can have Questing Beast attack for eight next turn. Do they have that Spell Pierce, though? Gosh, that Spell Pierce has been devastating. Very good. So I can, I can attack with the Sir Farron. Yeah, we'll make this attack. So basically, they they have to chump block Questing Beast with the Benthic Biomancer, which means that the Biomancer can't make can't kill the Sir Farron. <clears throat> so we at least trade with Sir Farron. Just want to land. So if it's white land, we get to play Lyra. If it's not, we get to activate Shalai. Rex! Whoa! Thank you so much, Rex. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Or some Christmas emotes. There we go. Thank you, Rex. Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's the wrong emote, but oh well. All right, so they got Roalesk in here. They get to double proliferate. I mean, that, that only gets better for them after next turn whenever they play Jade Light Ranger. Maybe one of these days we'll draw white mana. Or really any color of mana. Kumena? That does a lot of stuff. Ooh, didn't keep it though. Let's see if you're worthy. Have you ever lost a home? So we got Kumana's speaker instead of Regular Kumena. Oh, 
Wait, I don't have another basic planes. I only have one basic planes <laughs> in my deck. Uh... There is wonder in a blade of grass. That's why I didn't grab the planes of Fable Passage earlier, because we had the planes in hand. Kenny. <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you. Probably a bad attack. We're probably dead now. Well, that hurt. Yeah, I don't have very many double white spells. I think Lyra Dawnbringer is the only one, I think. Starting over is the only way. Is that right? Yeah, Lyra, the one Lyra in the sideboard and the one in the main. That's my only double white spell. And I have, you know, like eight duels. I have two Par Paradise Druids, two Mox Ambers. Uh, I didn't I didn't count it. Maybe the opponent had lethal, but it's kind of tricky t attacking into Vivian Champion of the Wilds to be honest. I didn't I didn't count it out, but yeah, maybe they had lethal. But I'm glad that glad they did not attack out. Yeah, so I had, I had all my mana up, I had my cards in hand, but, you know, at, they thought that they could survive, I guess, with their seven, you know, like their seven, seven had my four, five under lock, which turned out I had a Kenrith. They couldn't cast sleep because of Shalai, because we had hexproof. So sleep would not have really helped them. Of course, I want to draw a second land. If we draw a second land, we're really turned on. Okay, everything in our hand is. 
Um, could be bad right now, though. So 7-2 first strike. I can chump block with Paradise Druid or Reese. Does not have trample. Maybe I just chump block here since it doesn't have trample. That's my safe, safest play. They got three cards in hand, huh? I kind of want to just cast Ruinous Blast and trade trade three for two. I'd trade my Blast and my two mana creatures for these two. Nature flows with I'll play Shalai. They, they have to, like, with three mana, they have to draw two cards or, you know, like, at least draw one extra card. They have to draw a card and have a burn spell to kill Shalai. Oh, that's good. Rewarded. Rewarded for waiting. Hey, Hawkeye. Okay. That's what you sound like. Urza's Ruinous Blast, Hawkeye. Blasting our opponent's hopes and dreams. But they will rebuild. That should that really should just be an attack and then untap with Sh with Kiora. They have all these creatures in their spell matters decks. So many creatures. <laughs> Traxus. Traxus. It's too big, Hawkeye. It's a 7-7. Seven, seven. That's like you. You're a 7-7. Seven, seven. I didn't get I didn't get Hawkeye a Santa hat. Like he I like you remember how he had his his wizard hat for Halloween? I didn't get him a Santa hat. I should have. I thought about it too late in the process when I, I wouldn't be able to get one by Christmas already whenever I thought of it. 
He had two mana, seven, seven, trample, draw a card. All right, bunch of devout decrees. This thing, this thing. That thing. We're going to take out one of these, one of these, one of those. Okay. <laughs> Hawkeye equals Galta. You Galta. You're imp Imperious Great Worm. Imperious Great Cat. So I'll lead with the Fable Passage so that we can have three mana on turn three. Even though, honestly, maybe I shouldn't be leading with that. Because I do need to draw land. Okay. Still draw land. Yeah, Hawkeye's doing a little better. He's not perfect yet or anything, but he's doing a little better. He's getting there. All right, Sean is probably just going to get bolted. I probably just paid two mana gain three life there. Didn't even get to draw a card. We're not even revitalizing. Alright, whenever I said we need to draw a land, that's what I meant. We need to draw a land. Not only draw lands for the rest of the game. Okay, I'll take that. Trades for, you know, just trades for a spell instead of them playing like Warlord's Fury, draw a card, and then trigger Pyromancer. I'm a little surprised they didn't. Oh, never mind. I'm not surprised now. Figured it out. So I can shock next turn to draw a card, basically. I'm going to play Kiora and Questing Beast if I shock. <clears throat> no, don't do it to Lyra. Oh, my guy. Yeah, damage to me. Mox Amber is really nice because now we get to play both of these cards and I get to untap Lyra. Oh, why aren't you attacking? You're supposed to be attacking too. The ocean surges, <laughs> life Whoops. thrives. Oh, 
Yes, because before I would have had to have Kiora untap a land. But now I could have Kiora untap Lyra Dawnbringer. You can scratch my face when I'm with you. And I love it. That's what Hawkeye's saying. And I love it. Alright, Hawkeye. Let's finish three and two. I said I'd, before we played this, I was gonna be really happy with a three and two. Let's see if we can get there. Uh oh. That's scary. No, I have, I have no desire to play Holiday Cube. I like Cube Drafting, but I've, I've done enough Cube Drafting in my, in my day. Um, yep, two, four, six, eight, and ten. Ten mana? If they wanted. I guess they're just going to be activating Leyline of Abundance a bunch. Okay, we can handle this. That's all they got. As long as they don't have removal for my Shauna or Captain Sisse. Don't kill my Captain Sisse. Don't kill the Captain Sisse. Just play some more mana creatures. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't like this. I don't like this. Don't be voracious, Hydra. No, not voracious, Hydra. Ooh, they didn't kill Captain Sisse. They did not kill Captain Sisse. I don't know how they did not. I don't think they know what that card does. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but it's twenty four twenty five. <laughs> okay, they didn't kill my captain. Oh, captain, my captain. So even if we didn't draw the land, of course, we had the Mox Amber, so we were going to be able to cast the Ruinous Blast. We didn't need to draw that land. Let's get Druidic Vow in here. We haven't played enough Druidic Vow. I need some more Druidic Vow. Captain Hawkeye. Hmm. I mean this hand I don't I don't I don't do anything until turn five and I have three lands. Uh I guess. I don't know. I guess we could try it. They're because they're mulling, basically the reason why I'm keeping because they're mulling to five, so they're probably gonna have a slow hand. I'll just have Reese, Reese's pieces, make some elves.
Yeah, Druidic Vow's cool. Aren't you a mana creature? We'll make some elves that will just exile to the blast. I like how they're not playing Nyssa. It's good. No, don't fight. Whoops. Ow. Rude. I think Settle's the most frustrating card ever. Well, this is like Settle the Wreckage, but they don't have to attack. You just exile all their stuff, and they don't get lands. I did get to draw three at least. Buy stuff. Whoosh. Buy stuff. Hmm. Double spell with these. Shalai would attack for four next turn after I play Lyra anyway, instead of attacking for five. Still attack for four. Um, but now Shalai will protect Lyra. All right, three and two. Three and two. So we finished today 500 overall. And we started the day at number 1,400, and we dropped down to 98%. So we dropped a bunch of rank after going 500. But that's okay. Yep. Three and two. Happy with that. So we saw the strength of Urza's Ruinous Blast. Um, you know, kind of went with more of a, a green-white feel here, you know, with the with the... Uh, Yorvos or Farron, you know, Reese, you know, get like these cheaper, you know, Shauna, get these cheaper legendary cards to try to help turn on Mox Amber and ramp with that. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. I think after playing it, I, I think I liked um, Abzan Legends more, which you, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, you know, if, if you haven't seen this deck, you know, check this out in the the historic section we played this deck a couple of times same kind of thing but you have kethis also to help reduce the cost of your cards so that's cool and you got like a little bit of removal with like othakaya golgari queen i think i liked this version more but they're both good i like captain sisse a whole lot this is this is one of my favorite cards to play because it's just demonic tutor. You know, tap, search your library for whatever card you want, put it into your hand. Like that's that's amazing. That's that's so much fun. Um, it seemed like like these cards were a little. I don't I don't know what to change. I don't know. I we'd have to play a little bit more. It did seem like these were a little underpowered, like Sir Farron and and Reese and stuff like that. But they did enable. You know some of our more powerful stuff. I'm not sure about Traxos. Traxos may. It's possible that maybe Traxos should go. Um, maybe we don't need the second Great Henge. Maybe just need one of those. There's just a there's a lot of options to play. You know, like Kenrith. You know, you, we could have like a Kenrith in the main instead of a Traxos. You know, like that like Kenrith may be better. 
a lot of a lot of different card choices kind of around the edges that you know if you have like some cards you don't want to use wild cards on others you know feel free to change this isn't like a set in stone you should play this deck list kind of thing but all right that's selesnia legends so um everybody watching on youtube and of course everybody here in twitch chat also have a very wonderful holidays um We'll be back on tomorrow, normal time. We have our sub battle stream on Saturday. That'll be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, we had a good day today, even if we didn't have the most wins. But it 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 started off a little rough, but we had a couple of fun decks to play afterwards. Uh, Thran Temporal Gateway. I don't. I do not like Thran Temporal Gateway. The card costs four mana to play and then, you know, four mana to activate. And with the four mana to activate, you're not really saving much mana. And so it's just, it's a lot of mana to play. And then you also have to have other cards to play with it. Um, I, I don't like Thran Temporal Gateway in these kind of decks. I think it's it's too slow. I think with Thran Temporal Gateway, you have to be cheating things in like Parhelion. Or just, you know, you have to just be playing very overcosted cards to make Thran Temporal Gateway work uh, worth it all. Okay, uh, but yeah, everybody else on YouTube, um, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Uh, do both of those, please. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video. Okay, say bye. Say bye. <laughs> All right, good night.